sponsored by Clean My Mac X, the ultimate cleaner for your Mac, laptop, or desktop. Well, thanks, Siri. <laughs> so, iCloud Drive is the only storage solution that I currently rely on. I have set up my Mac in a way that if I were to lose it tomorrow or have it stolen and wiped clean without even having a time machine backup, I could be back to normal and working on any other Mac machine probably within an hour or two depending on the internet speed. With the recent Mac OS Catalina update, I am now able to share files and folders via iCloud Drive. This means I no longer need external hard disks or other cloud storage solutions like Google Drive or Dropbox. This way I would not only save cash by keeping only one cloud solution active, but I also improve my security and redundancy without the need for any backups whatsoever. This is how I use iCloud Drive in 2020. Hey guys, this is Z, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eskren, and most people call me E, and in those difficult times, I will be in my home studio working to show you some cool software and tech products that you might find useful while being responsible and staying at home. So a few years back, I made the bold move to reorganize and transfer over all my files onto iCloud. What made me do that was iCloud's feature called Optimized Storage, which keeps locally only the data you use most often. Now, some of you might say, I could do that with Google Drive or Dropbox, but that's not exactly the case. Sure, Dropbox has a feature called Smart Sync, but you have to manually select which content you want to keep locally and which should be on the cloud only. Optimized Storage on iCloud, on the other hand, works seamlessly and knows which files you want to keep locally and on demand and which should have no reason to take up your disk space. Let me give you an example. I have a 1.2 terabyte of iCloud storage that I'm currently using. If I was to set up a new Mac tomorrow and the machine has only 128 gigabytes of internal storage, I wouldn't break a sweat because I know how intelligent Mac OS is. With on-demand managing files, it downloads and keeps locally only the documents that I work with on a daily basis and most often. So what I did few years back, and I still do to this day, is to emulate my local disk folder structure on iCloud itself. Since with iCloud, both my desktop and documents folders are now synced, which is standard for the service, I only have to worry about my downloads, movies, music, pictures, and other root folders that matter to me. At the moment, my local downloads folder contains data that is not vital or of high importance, and I'd like to keep it that way. If I was to delete it tomorrow, I would have no regrets. If occasionally I gather files I want to retain, however, I drag them over to my iCloud downloads folder that I created myself. The same methodology applies to my iPad. If I was to keep something, I would drag it over from my iPad to its equivalent folder on the iCloud drive. All new files that I download and are essential to me, including work, I immediately move over to the appropriate folder under iCloud. Also, what I usually do is to add my most often used folders to the Files app sidebar and quickly access them while working. My Movies folder is usually for my temp video projects for Final Cut Pro because, let's face it, with Netflix, Prime, Disney Plus and all the other streaming services, I no longer need to keep movies locally on my computer. Although I'm very tempted to try Plex, but that's a different story. So the same goes for my music folder and Apple Music. I use iCloud for my folders as well, so again, this is something that I shouldn't have to deal with or think about. If I want to share a file or folder at any point, I can do that easily by choosing Add People. This new iCloud functionality works as expected with both files and now folders, where you can select if you want to use a shareable link or you want to specify who has access to something. Also, you can choose if the share should be read-only or editable. I do my iPhone backups on iCloud, of course automatically, not having to worry about it one bit. And I share my 2TB of storage space with my family, so again, one cloud solution serves three other people, including their device backups and mine. I've opted for Apple's current biggest plan of 2TB, but I'm nowhere near filling that space up. I try to have everything clutter and junk free whenever possible. One way to do that on my Mac is by using Clean My Mac X, which is today's channel sponsor. Now, Clean My Mac X is a software that I've been using for quite some time now, even before I started working with them. It helps me free up gigabytes of space, given the fact that I always deal with large amounts of data with all the video stuff, as well as speed up my computer because, let's face it, there's always some kind of unused junk lurking somewhere on our hard drives or some leftover activities sucking up our precious RAM. 
The software is very easy to use, providing you with a great fluid interface that also allows you to uninstall unwanted apps. Keep your online activity private, and even though we're talking about Macs here, stay malware free, all with a single press of a button. Be sure to check out Clean My Mac X in the description below. So like I mentioned in the beginning, having the ultimate cloud storage solution can be time and business saving as well as cheaper in the long run. I do take snapshots of my app drawer every once in a while to remind myself what apps should I download again if I find myself setting up a new Mac by chance. So what cloud service do you use? Let me know in the comment section below. It's been an absolute pleasure. Stay safe. This is E, over and out.